everyone, it's Chris from the Barrington Area Library, and I have a book recommendation for you. Today's book is The Curse of Eelgrass Bog by Mary Aberley. This is a middle grade fantasy novel with some mystery and horror elements, but don't worry, uh, non-horror fans. Um, the horror elements are very light, and there's really nothing scary in this book. Um, just some creepy stuff that goes on. Uh, but this is a book about a young girl named Kess who lives in um, and operates uh, the Museum of Unnatural History with her older brother. Uh, their parents um, have been uh, kind of away in Antarctica for a few months, so it's just the two of them, plus Kess's best friend, a uh, talking head in a jar named Shrunken Jim. Uh, and um, their museum basically displays the super the, the bones of supernatural creatures and monsters that um, either they or their parents have found. And um, Kess isn't really allowed to explore much beyond the museum. Her older brother is kind of controlling, um, and uh, which is bad because the museum is not doing very well. It's very run down. It's kind of seen as a joke by the townspeople. But one day, a uh, new girl in town named Wee Lu shows up. She explores the museum. She befriends Kess. And then she asks Kess to help her break a family curse. And what starts as just sort of a quest to help her friend actually turns into a mystery regarding Kess's family and Kess herself. And um, some very important uh, uh, things that have been kept from her uh, for a very long time come to light and uh, really kind of changes her world forever. I highly recommend this book. Uh, it's a pretty quick read. Um, and uh, you know, if you're into sort of creepy or uh, uh, sort of um, supernatural stuff, if you're into like cryptids, um, and monsters, you're also going to really enjoy this book. So I highly recommend The Curse of Eelgrass Bog by Mary Aberley. It is available for checkout right now at the Barrington Area Library. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.